Honey, this is your dad. Oh, this is dad. Okay, y'all, so the results are in. It turns out that Nuck is the pappy. I'm the pappy. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What is up? It's your girl, EJ, back with another quick chat. Now, y'all, y'all been out here in the shy streets trying to figure out how in the world is Nuck Keisha's baby daddy because it felt like Keisha was gone for a really, really long time and it just doesn't seem to add up. But some kind of way, the Dana test says that Nuck is indeed the baby's father. So we're going to try to break it down and come up with a timeline and see if it truly is plausible or did the shy really reach on this one. What up, Keisha? You ain't got to stand outside. Come on. Look, I don't mind you coming here to drop the money off. Just don't come to my house looking like don't look up. Look, I don't want no parts of your situation, okay? I'm dressed up for my man. Keisha and Nuck are dating, right? We're going to learn about this in season three, episode one, when Keisha goes over after the wedding is over with, because y'all remember Emmett made that whack food for the wedding. You know, this was when he was first starting out, y'all. He was trying. But anyway, he makes that whack food. Keisha goes over there to pay it. And I think that was like either episode one or two where she goes over there to pay it. And Tiffany is all like, you know, don't come over here dressed like no whore. I don't care if you come bring money, yada, yada, yada. And she was like, I'm dressed like this for my man, right? And then next we're going to see her at the bus station, and we're going to see her texting back and forth, and it turns out it's Nook. We can actually see it on the phone. It's Keisha. Hell no. How I know you tell the truth? I ain't leaving without my sister. Kevin knew about this already. Kevin knew that she was sneaking out the house to go and see this guy, right? He talks about it in a couple of different episodes after Keisha returns. He goes over there to the trap house or the pimp house, whatever you want to call it, where Nuck is, and he actually confronts him about is his sister in here. So it's a lot of different times where we kind of find out that Keisha and Nuck were this thing at some point. So we know that they were dating 100%. Now, the biggest thing is, is that a lot of people are like, the time, the time, she had to have been gone for at least four or five months. It's been two months. Exactly. So why are you in such a hurry to move on? I just think it's time for us to start the grieving process. Oh. Well, if we go to season three, episode seven, we actually find out how long she was actually gone because Nina and Dre are going to get into an argument. Dre is pushing her to pack up Keisha's room, remember? So Keisha was indeed only gone two months because right after that is when they actually find Keisha. That's when Ronnie goes and finds her and, and basically brings her home. So if she was only gone for two months, we can safely assume that this man was assaulting her from the moment that she got there. We know that she was sleeping with Nuck already. So it is very much possible that she was pregnant when she got there, you know, that she was already pregnant. Now, I know that as we kind of go through this whole pregnancy thing, I can't personally find a time frame like I don't see where there's ever a time where they say, oh, she's this many months pregnant. Like, I honestly can't find that. And to be fair, I didn't go search like a lot, lot for it. But the little bit that I did search, I didn't find anywhere where they actually say ever how many months she truly was pregnant. And I also don't ever see where they say anything like, oh, the baby was born early or anything like that. Like, I honestly don't see any of that either. Keisha is a very small person, so she could very well be pregnant and, you know, nobody would, and she would never show. I do know that they do show us when she takes the pregnancy test and when she learns about, uh, uh, being pregnant and I think that everybody just naturally assumed that it was this guy that nobody ever thought for one second including her that it that she could have been pregnant when she got there but it is very much it's not far-fetched you know at first I was like maybe this is just too far-fetched like I know y'all trying to move the story along and it just feels like y'all reaching but now that I've done a little bit of research and I see that it's only been two months passed by since she's been gone 
I mean, it's not that it's not that far fetched. And we all know that they're doing it to move the story along. We know that Nuck needs something to live for. So, of course, we got to make baby Ronnie his. That's exactly what they're going to you know, that's exactly what the thought process is. So, you know, and that's all cool. And all. I'm all for moving the story along. But. I know that this was a hot topic for everybody. I know that everybody was trying to figure out what in the world, why are we even going here and how is this even possible? But that's how it's possible, y'all. At the end of the day, it felt like Keisha was gone for 50 11 years, but yeah, she was only gone for two months. So there's that. Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Let me know what y'all think about this whole pregnancy thing and Nug being the baby daddy and turning out not to be her assaulter and how they are, you know, going to try to progress the story and give Nuck something to live for. What do y'all think about all that? Do y'all think that Nuck is going to be the one to take out Duda? Do you think this is going to cause Nuck to want to change or anything like that? And I know a lot of people have some strong feelings about Nuck and should he even be a part of this child's life and all that type of stuff. I feel like that's a whole nother video and a whole nother loaded gun because as I was doing a lot of research, Nuck has done some stuff, y'all. Like he has definitely been in some stuff. So I feel like it's a conversation that maybe we can have because the shy is good for bringing out these conversations, y'all. So let me know if y'all want to talk about that. But anyway, y'all, that is what's up. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.